Mr. Gideon. Okay, guys, you ready? You ready for the updates? Darcy got back with me kind of early today. Are you excited? Yes, and Marsha and, oh, darn it. Oh, jeez. I'm a mess, kids. And I gotta go to work, so I gotta look really professional, covered in hair, and who knows what. Um, Marsha and Lynette have been busy, busy, busy working on a super big flash sale, so, ooh, hold your horses, guys. It's gonna be a big one, so good news. All right, I got loads of notes. So, you guys ready? Let's go over what happened today. Hi, huh, baby. Hello, little baby. Hello. Okay, so first up is uh, the baby that went up for the eyeball removal. That was um, Meowdis. She went up for an eyeball removal. Kind of bummer news a little bit on that, but the nice thing is, is we are never in a hurry and it's always what's best for the babies. So, Dr. Darcy, the, when they have an eyeball that's infected like that and really gross and nasty, um, obviously it's because there's an infection somewhere, um, that infection is still there. So, Dr. Darcy did not want to proceed with the eyeball removal just because that infection still has not been kicked, which, you know, we're, oh, Murph, hello. Um, um, hi, baby. Oh, him so handsome. So, um, they did not get to that. They're actually texting me right now. Um, okay. Okay. Um, so, uh, the, the upside is, is even though the eye did not get removed today, um, we'll do it another day. The nice thing is, is we're not in a hurry. We can, we have the luxury of waiting for when they're, they're at their bestest of health. So we're, we're okay with that. That's okay. I'm all right. So we'll get her back on some antibiotics and see if we can just really kick it. Clearly it's, you know, it's gotta be a really nasty infection in order for this to happen to the eyeball. So We'll just wait, we'll get her back and um, get her taken care of and we'll try again late, later date. No problem there. So the next one is Buckeye. Buckeye, she, they are literally texting me on them now. Um, she did a really, really big mega clean on Buckeye's wound. Um, just shaved the heck out of him. So I'm sure he's gonna look pretty interesting when he does come back. Um, shaved his fur like wild and they're putting on some some new please don't put kibble in my drink that would be gross um, they shaved him really well and they're gonna clean him up and put this new treatment on him that she's actually not had much experience with so I'm kind of excited to see how that goes so as of right now, it looks like they're gonna keep Buckeye until Wednesday or Thursday. This bandage needs to be changed every three days. And then, um, so they, they're gonna keep him until that time. And then I will go in during that, that day and they will show me how to change it because it's gonna be kind of um, a, a tricky bandage because of that location of where his wound is at. Other than that, he's doing pretty decent for that. Uh, Mr. Darcy, he's the next one up. So they did blood work on him. He's lost just a touch of weight. Nothing too terribly um, much. That's what made us send him up there. So he has got stage two out of four kidney disease. He's also got um, just some anemia from having chronic disease. So we're going to try some different meds on him and see how he does. But on the upside, he's a really good eater. So I think it's, look at how cute he looks over there. Oh, Mr. Darcy. So, but you know, we're pretty hopeful about it. Um, it's, it's only stage two out of three kidney disease. So um, we might be able to stave off some time with, 
with his meds, you know, by doing some different kidney foods and some special medicine for him. So that went really good. And then the next up, Praline. Praline's lost some weight. That was a big thing for her to go up and get checked out to see what's going on with her. She is a bit older. She's 12, so we wanted to make sure there's not much going on. With her, it actually turns out that she's just kind of sad. Um, medically, nothing showed up at all. Um, everything looked really well on her. So we're just going to try some appetite stimulants for her and um, see if we can't get her um, boosted into eating. So there's your update. It's pretty simple and easy. I would say overall pretty well. I'm pretty happy with that. So there you go. There's your updates. We'll get working on them. And I got Murph hair on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Mike says, happy birthday, Denise. So, yeah, pretty good. We'll get started on some of those um, meds and all that good stuff, and uh, we'll see where we where we get. So, yeah, a little preline. She's just an old lady, so we'll try to make sure we offer her some more food. I'll put her on the specialty feeding list and see if we can't get her some more weight packed on. You know, I mean, she's depressed. She's been in the same home for 12 years. That's pretty sad, you know. Or, I mean, it's got, you know, pretty sad for them. So, we'll give her some extra lovies and some stimulants and see if we can't get her to chunk up a bit. I also have some high caloric food. Maybe we can try that, too, and see if we can't get her eating good. So, okay. All right. There you go. That's your updates. We will see you guys later. I'm going to be heading out to work here in about 15 minutes and go from there. Bye guys. Good job Murph. Oh he's so cute with his little purple collar. It's very nice of Jim to bring that for you. You're welcome. Oh I will Mike. I'm gonna get real scared. We're gonna have all sorts of spooky stuff there. All right. Let's do it.